Hey guys, this is test number two for the Epiphone Les Paul SL in the music area case here. Uh, I did a test the other day where I was dropping it at different heights onto the carpeted floor in my living room area. Uh, and it was, by carpet I mean it's like an area rug on like a, on a, a laminate floor. Uh, I did a headstock first drop, which resulted in cracks along the joint of the headstock, which is a pretty common problem for Gibson slash Epiphone style guitar neck joints. These things are just made out of glass. They break so easily. I've seen videos of people accidentally like tapping them on tabletops or, you know, into like a, a door jam or something like that and the neck just pops off. So I'm going to continue doing tests with this thing. Eventually the headstock is going to break off. I can guarantee that. But then I think for the spirit of these tests, I'm going to continue to test the case in ways where the body uh, should be either protected or receive damage from the tests. And we'll just assume, you know, like I said, that neck joint's made out of glass. It's going to shatter uh, the next time it gets a good hit to it. Um, but I want to keep testing the case and, you know, do a lot of fun stuff that's going to be really entertaining and uh, make it worth it to, uh, to get more money for the kids that are benefiting from the uh, the GoFundMe that was set up by uh, one of our audience members who pledged a hundred of her own dollars if the guitar gets destroyed and as of making this video we've raised over eight hundred dollars for a kids music camp I think up in Seattle up in the Pacific Northwest somewhere but anyways it's a worthy cause and I'm looking forward to uh, hearing about those kids getting all sorts of money so that they can uh, learn guitar stuff and learn band stuff. So anyways, I'm going to do a test similar to the one I did with the mono case where I drop it out my second story window here onto the concrete below. I'm going to drop it butt first just like the mono case. The mono case has that giant rubber boot on the end of it. This doesn't have that giant rubber boot. You can see it has like this kind of plastic like tooth sort of thing on the end. Still, there's a lot of really beefy padding in here. I'll be really surprised if the body sustains any damage with this drop. Um, I won't be surprised if the force of it like finishes off that headstock and it just snaps off. So let's check this out. I have some GoPro cam cameras running down there on the floor so we can see what happens. All right, here it goes. Window test. Well, it, it bounced off the ground and then uh, it flew forward and landed on its headstock a little bit. So we'll see what it's like down there. Let's go down and check it out. There it is. All right. Let's see what happened. Did it survive the window drop? There's some dirt on it. The headstock's still on there. There's a little bit of lint ruffled around on it. The, uh, the headstock cracks. I think the light in here, down here is going to be deceiving compared to the light upstairs. Uh, to my naked eye, the crack doesn't look any worse, but I'm sure in the video here, it looks a lot more apparent. No big cracks or visible damage of any sort. No little cracks either. Neck joint. It's still good. I think the bridge did shift a little bit from where I had it. Not a big surprise there. The strap button is still good, still in place. I'd say it passed. It passed the window drop.